Now, before we go anywhere, before we do anything with math, you have to learn how to do things manually. As I said before, you gotta stop using the calculator or stop using it as much as you are. Uh, basically, you have to learn how to do things manually. So I'm just gonna show you how to add and subtract, multiply and divide by hand. Now, you don't have to do everything you come across do, uh, by hand, but it's good to know how to do it, okay? Because it allows you to understand how numbers work and how you can put them all together. Now, let's talk about adding and subtracting a bit. Let's say I give you two numbers. 12 plus, 25 plus 12. And all you do, you line them up. Five, five plus two is seven, and that's three. Now what if you get anything that goes higher than 10? 29 plus 17, okay? You got nine plus seven, six is 16. So what you do is you carry the one up here, okay? Then you got one plus two is three, three plus one is four. Easy, simple. What if you had a huge number? Two, zero, nine, seven, one, plus uh, nine, two, eight, two. Well, one plus two, three, seven plus eight, 15. You carry the one up here. Nine plus one is, uh, nine plus one is 10, plus two is 12. You carry the one. One plus nine is 10, zero, you carry the one, three. Simple as that, okay? If you want, you add your little comma so it becomes easier to read. Now, if you have decimals, when you're adding, adding uh, numbers, what you do is you line up the numbers according to their decimals. So for example, if I give you two numbers, 2.57 and one or 12.5. So what you do is you line up your numbers according to the decimals. So you go, 2.5712.5 and you're adding them based on this boundary. So there's no number here, so you just add a zero. So that becomes seven. Five plus five is 10. So you add your zero, bring the one up here. One plus two is three. Three plus two is five. Okay, nothing came up and then you have your one, you keep it down here and the decimal place stays there, okay? So 2.75 plus 12.5 is 15.07. That's, that's adding. Now we're gonna deal with subtracting, okay? Come. Okay, so we talked about adding, now we're gonna do subtracting. 12 minus seven. Now what you do here is, you're subtracting seven from 12, and you gotta line up your, your numbers, okay? Now seven, you can't take seven away from 12. So what you do is you're gonna borrow one from here. So you, you cross this off, this becomes zero, the two becomes 12. Seven minus 12 is five. Now obviously that was simple, okay? You already knew that. But when you go to higher numbers, that's the same uh, process you're gonna be using, okay? So if you have 257 minus 29, okay? So what you do is, you can't take nine away from seven, so you're gonna borrow one from the five. So that becomes four, this becomes 17. Nine minus 17 is eight. Two minus four is two, and there's nothing to subtract here, so that becomes two. That's subtracting. And with the decimals, it works the same way. Line up your decimals, and you continue the same way you did with the addition, okay? So if you're doing two, five, one, 2.51 minus uh, 1.9. So the way you do this is, there's nothing to subtract here, so that's just a zero, that just becomes one. Nine from five, you can't take, so you borrow one from this, this becomes 15. Nine minus 15 is six, one minus one is zero, and your zeros line up here, you put it down here, okay? That's subtraction. Let's go on to multiplication, okay?